Hello everyone, once again welcome to the Dubai's World Channel. Yesterday we are completed the uh, Hepatitis A virus, uh, their cultural characteristics and the intro introduction part of a Hepatitis A virus. So today we will see the incubation period. Actually the incubation period of a Hepatitis A virus is 15 to 50 days and the pathogenesis, how this, it, how it is spread, how it uh, spread to the human body and cause the disease or uh, damage to the liver so once it is uh, ingested by uh, ingested by a human uh, host cell like uh, contaminated foods or uh, water have taken so from there this virus is going to ingested by a, a host cell inside the, uh, there will in the orphanex and the gas gastrointestinal tract it will replicate the virus will replicate in the orphan uh, oropharynx and the gastro intestinal tract after replication they transport it to the liver a major site replication then again they will transport to the liver where they will again replicate it and then they shed in a bile and transport it to the small intestine so, uh, after that's why we uh, say that this uh, the once it transported to the small intestine, this explains why faces of a patient of hepatitis A are infectious. Means, however, once jaundice develop, this uh, develop as a result of a liver infection, the viruses are rarely detectable in the faces. It's rarely detectable. After this, the shed in a faces and then it uh, will show the brief viremia, means the uh, blood with the more viruses uh, discharged during the faces and while doing the clinical clinical immune risk, uh, clinical diagnosis, the immune, uh, immune response will be shown. So, uh, uh, once again I will wrap, uh, once again, I will say this: uh, how the virus is ingested by a host cell from a contaminated foods or a water, and once it ingested by a host cell, the, it will replicate in orphan X and a gastrointestinal tract. Then you transport it to the liver, and the major site there it will again replicate. After this replication, they shed in a bile and transport it to the small intestine. Once they transport uh, transported to the small intestine, this explains the why faces of a patient of hepatitis A are infectious. And that once the shedded in the faces, then it will cause a brief bremia means blood with the lodge of a viruses. And while doing the clinical diagnosis, it will show the uh, clinical immune response. Now we will see the diagnosis of hepatitis A virus. This, uh, as I said, this uh, uh, once the uh, virus is transported to the small intestine after the sudden bile, this feces can show re not every time, but uh, rarely it can shows the uh, shows this uh, path uh, shows the viruses uh, affecting. Uh, the liver so the diagnosis uh, can also uh, diagnosis can be done by demonstration demonstration of a virus in faces faces or taking a blood from a bile so blood bile sorry blood or a bile by Immuno electron microscopy. Sorry, immuno electron microscopy. This is the one of a method we can demonstrate. But the it's very rare to find out out from faces faces that uh, uh, viruses is there. So the second method is also there. Uh, virus isolation virus isolation and third is uh, detection of a uh, antibody detection of a uh, antibody by a ELISA technique 
and uh, the fourth one is the biochemical tests uh, can also be done to detect the uh, for a diagnosis of this virus so biochemical test like alanine alanine amino transferase amino transferase can be done to check the uh, uh, to diagnose this virus second is bilirubin and the last diagnosis is the molecular diagnosis molecular diagnosis in that by using a rt pcr reverse transcriptase pcr technique of a feces can be done to check the to diagnose this uh, hepatitis a virus before i go to the other to uh, other subtopics of hepatitis a virus like a prevention and treatments i'll see the uh, say the symptoms of a hepatitis a virus is uh, fatigue fe fatigue fever itching uh, depression and appetite loss appetite loss appetite loss nausea and jaundice etc so now we will see the treatment and the prevention of hepatitis a virus prevention as i said that it's caused by any contam uh, it's caused by contaminated food or water so the first should be first should be first should be see like uh, proper hygiene condition should be there proper hygienic measure of sanitation sanitation second is passive immunization passive immunization immunization by hig gamma globulin gamma globulin given before exposure to before exposure to viremia sorry before exposure to virus not a viremia sorry before uh, given before exposure to virus actually it will prevent uh, or attenuate a clinical illness and third prevention is taken as a active immunization active immunization here a several inactivated or live attenuated vaccine against the hepatitis have been developed that can be given like a have rix now we'll see the treatment of uh, hepatitis a virus actually here no specific treatments are there but doctor advise to the rest advise to rest avoid healthy uh, so sorry avoid fatty food stay hydrated and uh, avoid alcohol and eat well balanced food well balanced diet this is there for hepatitis a virus thank you